appropriate or a good thing to teach. I think I think it is. I really actually do like dive rolls. But I see it causing problems with handstand flatbacks on a, when on a dive roll. What you do is you reach down and you stay round, and so there's really not as much pushing up your hands like a handstand. And I've actually seen it. A lot of kids do this weird handstand flatback at level three, where it's this rounded snap to the back, and it never hits handstand. And so that's something we have to keep in mind too. We have to do both. Right. Have to make sure you're doing. So, if you, it's good to do some dive rolls because it's good to learn how to teach them how to roll. Right. Um, but then also making sure that at the same time they're just stationary. So they're knowing the difference and they're learning the difference. That makes sense. Ooh, that was almost a crash. Um, <laughs> so for the dive roll, what I would do, because I always give kids a pretty good. Um, so let's move this back. Right away. Hi, we can just go. Hi, Hi guys. Um, I like to give them visuals when we're teaching dive rolls and things. But visuals are going to keep them safe. So this is how I would teach dive rolls. So what I would say for guys when it's usually seven years, we're gonna do a forward roll yeah. drop the spring roll. We don't have to jump into that. But you have to reach over my arm. Okay. So you have to reach over my arm. You stick your hands in here. Okay. So basically what this is teaching is is that they're okay. looking for something. Like that. But then when you're reaching over my arm, I can grab her. Okay. And so I do that on tumble track. Um, and that's usually how I originally teach. She's pretty stuck her hands in front of that, so she's having a hard time. Same exact spot as I just did for the diamonds and stuff, but then I just add my other hand into this. And you basically got complete control. Yeah. 